What up? Coming to you live from the port. Shout out to homie David right there. He asked me if I wanted to come with him to pick up a couple cars. So we're picking up that cappuccino. We're picking up this Pajero. We're also picking up a Dahatsu Move over there. And I believe one more car, not 100% sure. But I'm pretty happy to be here because I'm picking up the Honda Z next week. And this is kind of like a practice test run. I have all his paperwork, none of my stuff, but I know now where the port is. I know exactly, you know, who to give my license to, what to do with the paperwork, who to pay who. So next week I should be able to give you a better breakdown of how much everything costs, what steps I need to do to pick up my car from the port. But let's walk down this row right here. And that's supposed to record, so I'm not gonna do too much of that. But I definitely wanna show you guys some cool stuff. There's a sandbar van over there. There's some of these new Nissans. I'm not really sure how this got here, but you know, maybe someone figured it out. First we got this Pajero pretty nice this one looks like it's a non-turbo because there's no hood scoop then we got a chaser this is a big old drift build right here looks like pretty wide wheels got a bride seat this miata is cool this is the guy yeah. right here this is nice i like the front end i don't want to yeah i don't want to do too much but it doesn't even have pop-ups like it doesn't even have pop-ups that's pretty crazy and yeah the brakes are crazy lots of ski ones Wow, look at that. I don't know if this is real carbon fiber, but that's sick. Look at that. Good old Yunos Roadster. Then this is his that I had to move. Let's check this thing out. Yeah, I gotta get one of these, man. Being here is very motivational. It makes me want to just buy a thousand cars. Those little things are the cup holders right there on the doors. Oh, really? Yeah, look. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I don't know if I've ever seen one like this, even with like the little blue and red there, blue and red there, all over the seats. Got the tray down there. We gotta get the This one's four-wheel drive and turbo. I didn't even know they had four-wheel drive turbo ones. I know they had turbo, but not four-wheel drive. This one is sold? Not yet. Not so yet, not really yet. Yeah, I'll put your Instagram or whatever here. Yeah. Unless you know the price right now. I don't know if you know off the no, top of your head. Yet. Not yet. Gotta go over it. Yeah, this thing is sick. Needs tires. Yeah, definitely needs tires. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting to drive home. Yeah. Next, we got this R34 and some TEs. Look at the tri spokes on this S chassis. That's cool. This, I have no idea what it is. Someone let me know in the comments. Um, it looks like it could be a convertible with no top, which would be super unfortunate seeing how it's been snowing. Yeah, look, it looks like there was no interior. What is this? I can't tell. Kind of looks like a Miata, but like not really because the kid is too wild, especially the doors. Someone let me know in the comments. What is this car? Very cool either way. Next, we got a Honda Acti, of course. This Land Cruiser is pretty cool. There's another Pajero here. These are super common in New York. This one does have a hood scoop, so it's turbo. Nice fog lights. It is automatic. This green one is cool. That's another one of David's cars. I think this one is sold, I'm not sure. And then we have a big body Yoda, another R34. You guys know it's time that these are import legal, so we're gonna be seeing these like crazy. This one has the same badges too as that um that weird car. But I obviously know what this is. And then what is that? Nissan President, I think. Here's that Pajero. Five speed. Interior is not too bad. It has 89,000 kilometers. Yeah, I know, Maritain is super cool. I have that on my Jimny. Yeah. We got an Acti, of course. I, I hope this video actually shows you. I'm at the port and people had options to buy any K truck they wanted. What did they buy? Acti, 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 Acti. Subaru, thank God. Acti, Acti, and Acti. Look at that. Look at that again. Next, we have this Nissan March. This one's a convertible glass window. 
automatic. These come with cool interiors. Then we have a GTO and then a newer Suzuki Carry. It's going to be pretty interesting seeing these more often. I know this is a sandbar, but based off those taillights, this has to be extremely old, right? Yeah, look at that. I've never seen a sandbar like this. I don't want to open anyone's car, but it's a four speed. If you're watching this video, I apologize for opening your car, but I've never seen this and I just have to get a better look. Definitely a 550. Cab is extremely small, but it's clean. It's mint. Fuel tank right there, I think. Actually, what even is that? Could this be the fuel tank? That can't be the fuel tank. Wow, I think it is. All right, let me continue on my way. I didn't realize how cool this sandbar is. Look at these rims. They even say Subaru on them. It's automatic, sadly. I see CVT on the side, but glass roof, extremely mint. Sandbar Tri DS2 with those rims. Someone needs to five speed swap this AS. Oh my God, I even have to step. Here's a closer look at the cappuccino. Interior is pretty mint. Got the stock steering wheel. Got a blitz boost gauge. Uh, 78,000 kilometers. Back here looks pretty clean. Let's pop the hood and see if there's any goodies under there. Have you popped the hood yet? No, right? This first time. Well, I popped it to jump it. It's clean though. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a valve cover that clean. Yeah. So, is that an option to have the top? Yeah, yeah. If it does okay. take 20 bucks if you want to okay. buy a spark plug cover. Yeah. But yeah, you go with a straw bar right away. Yeah, that's what yeah. we do right away. Pretty clean under here too. I think all three of these are pretty solid. I love that I had to move. This is a car I feel like most people don't import. This one has like the cool kit on it. Interior is really nice. You don't see a lot of green cappuccinos just to begin with, but cappuccinos kind of sell themselves. It's the weird ones like this that you kind of have to convince people to buy, but airbags, cup holders, a little tray under there. They had to move floor mats, turbo and four wheel drive. That's pretty insane. I could definitely see myself buying one of these. Maybe 2024. We'll figure it out. Look at the one, two, three K lineup right here. But I think what we're gonna do next is head back to Queens, drive the car to the dude who does the detailing. And I think after that, I'm just gonna drive my cappuccino home and start parting out the blue one some more. He just drove away in the Padero. I'm now gonna drive the snowy cappuccino home. Pretty cool adventure with the homie David. I can't wait to do this next week for my Honda Z. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.